In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of custom URL schemes to have shortcuts on your Mac. So for example, here I can search Spotify. It asks me what's the name you want to search. Jingle Bell Rock. And when I press done, it opens Spotify and it searches the song Jingle Bell Rock. I could also come here to search a dictionary for the word vocabulary and then it opens my dictionary with the vocabulary currently search and in all of this I'm taking advantage of custom URL schemes. I made a video recently on custom URL schemes. You can check it in the video description. But basically how this works is there is a custom URL scheme with dict and this is going to open the dictionary on my device and there's also one for Notion, for Spotify, for Figma. Several applications that you install on your device usually come with a custom URL scheme registered on your device and then when i do something like this now and i search for lonely it's going to open the dictionary with lonely as the search term also in my previous video i showed you how you can do this from the terminal so i can do something like dict luminous and then it opens the dictionary with luminous you can also check out that video but this video let's focus on how to do it on your mac shortcuts this is obviously for those that have macbooks so we can come to the shortcuts app and i'm just going to create a new one for the name i want to have query spotify then in this scripting side i can come to ask for inputs and then the prompt is going to be song name now when you get that input i'm going going to have a replace script in here what this is going to do here is that it's going to replace the spaces that might be entered in the song name or i'll show you why let me skip this part first i'll show you why we have to do that the next thing i'm going to do is to add text here and this text is going to be the custom url spotify colon slash slash then we have search slash and then here i can enter this text so if i right click insert variable i can enter the ask for input that we get from the user so this spotify custom url scheme allows you to you know search on spotify using the desktop app so if i have slash here and i have merry christmas and then here you can see it searches merry christmas here so that's basically what i'm doing here and now i can have another scripting called open url and this is going to open the text and now we have our spotify shortcut so now if i play this shortcut it asks what is the song name it's beginning to look a lot like i will just stop here now when i press done it's also going to ask for privacy allow query spotify to open spotify allow now you can see what happens is that it only search for it and it doesn't search for the remaining words that's because there are spaces in the text when i get the text here i can come here to replace text we get the input now we're going to replace space with let's just say a hyphen and then when we replace this we're going to assign the updated text to a variable so set variable just under here and we're going to set the variable search term to the updated text and then here in our text instead of using ask for input i'm going to right click insert variable search term okay now that we have this i can play again it's beginning to look a lot and when i press done you can see now it's search for it's hyphen beginning hyphen to look a lot and now we can see the songs that matches that query we can use the same format for dictionary so instead of query spotify i'll call this query dictionary then instead of song name we ask for word but then here we're going to use dict colon slash slash which is the custom URL scheme that opens the dictionary app and here we open the text so now if i press play again query dictionary for ambiguous and press done it opens the dictionary and it searches for search Oh no, we're supposed to have updated this part here because the syntax for this Dix custom URL scheme is to just have the search term immediately after. So let's play it again, ambiguous, done. And then it opens the dictionary searching for ambiguous. Like I use this same concept in different ways. If you're not familiar with Apple shortcuts, you can check out the documentation online. But however you want to use this shortcut, it doesn't matter. As long as you can put this custom URL scheme somewhere in the text and the URL that you want to open then that way you can trigger native applications just right here from the top well one thing you need to do is you need to go to the info part here in in menu bar and then when you come here you can see query dictionary so this way you don't have to open your dictionary app all the time you don't have to open your spotify app all the time from this shortcut you can directly query or do whatever you want to do in those applications if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and also give it a like